This is a bit of a first for me. This is the first AMD specific memory kit that I have unboxed. I was kind of interested in it because this is a new heat spreader design for G-Skill, so I wanted to have a look, as well as I wanted to talk a little bit about what this means. So it says designed for AMD Phenom 2X6 CPU. That does not mean that that's the only chip that it works with. This compatible motherboard list, while handy and convenient, and includes some pretty darn good boards like the 890FXA GD70, is not comprehensive. So this memory kit is a DDR3 1800MHz kit. It runs at 1.65 volts, CL9 latency, and it is a 4 gig kit. So it'll be pretty much compatible with any board out there. But what G-Skill's saying is that it is specifically validated for these CPUs and these motherboards. So if you're going to go with a combination of a Phenom 2X6 and any one of these boards, you buy this RAM, you know it's going to run 100% out of the box and it's going to be effortless. So that is what they're trying to say. So let's get it opened up and have a look at their Flare series heat spreader. I believe that's what it's called. Ooh, don't quote me yet. Yes, Flare series heat spreader. So first of all, it comes with a G-Skill RAM fan, and this isn't the one that I've seen in the past. This is a little bit different. It's not quite as robust as the one that I unboxed in the past, but it's going to get the job done. I can tell that right off the bat. You've got two 40 millimeter fans. They appear to be LED fans, although I don't know what color they are right now. I actually didn't know there was going to be a RAM fan inside here, so I, I apologize for not having a power source handy. But they've got little... Uh, little foamy clips here, so it's going to clip, actually here, I can install it on a, no, I can't install it on a motherboard, sorry. So it's got little foamy clips here, it's going to sit right over the RAM clips on the ends, you've got one, uh, yeah, only one power connector that powers both fans, it runs off a four pin Molex, and uh, whew, I wish I knew what color LEDs they were, let me see if it says something on the back, they're Young Lin Tech fans. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, well, moving on, let's have a look at the Flare series memory module. So these are a high performance module. They're running at higher than what, we, what I would consider standard speeds, like 1333 megahertz, 1600 megahertz. So while the latencies aren't particularly impressive, wow, the heat spreader is. And the speed is also a little bit higher than what I would consider normal. So the Flare series heat spreader, this looks terrific. Here is your serial number sticker. Don't remove that or you will void your warranty. This is also a good reminder if you're ever trying to tune in your memory. I did a guide on that a little while back as well. This is where all of the settings that you need to set in the BIOS are. So let's have a look. So the Flare Series Memory Module heat spreaders are kind of a... a I can tell right now they're made of aluminum. Okay, they are a dual colored heat spreader. You're not getting like a brush finish, but you can tell, especially the red, has a beautiful anodized finish. It actually has a little bit of a, a sparkle to it when you catch it just right in the light. I don't know if the camera really uh, can catch all of that, but it really looks striking in the light. The black is more of a matte finish because when it's installed in your system, you're going to want to draw more attention to the red than really the black. So the black is more like the background for the, the flare that's popping out of the middle. It has kind of a flame shape to each one of the, uh, to each one of these, I don't know what to call them, but each one of these protrusions from the heat spreader. And the red ones in particular are more of a, it's really hard to get a good angle on it, but you can see the black ones are more wide and short, whereas the red ones really do look more like a flame spurt. They're narrower and they're a little bit longer there. You can kind of see from that angle. So it's a standard DDR3 module and that it'll fit in just about any slot. You want to watch out for your height. These are approximately double height modules with the heat spreaders on them. So if you have a CPU cooler like this one here, uh, you might actually run into a wee spot of trouble if you're trying to install one of these modules directly under the cooler. You can see that there's definitely not enough clearance for that. Whereas if you're putting it in the next over slot and then the furthest one away, you would probably be fine. So thank you for checking out my unboxing and first look at the G-Skill Flare series modules as well as their new RAM fan. And thank you for checking out my video blog. Don't forget to subscribe.